Hi, welcome back again everyone. If you remember uh, from last time, we, we took uh, Trigger's broom for, out for a little ride. What we're going to be doing today is having a look at it and it's the exhaust pipes. Say so they're very poor, the uh, silence is on there. So what I'm going to do is make some baffles to go in there, try and quiet it down a little bit. Now, the only thing with it is that this one here at the bottom has got a tight bend here and it's not, it hasn't got a long enough straight on it to be able to put any decent length baffles in. So what I've been doing, I've found some pipe and I'm going to put these two bits of, pieces of pipe <coughs> on there. This one will go on the bottom and that one on the top and hopefully that will make that long enough to get a, a decent sized baffle in there. So. That's what we're going to be cracking on with today. Well hopefully you'll be able to see everything we're going to be doing here. What I've got is a piece of perforated steel pipe. It was an old uh, race can. You know, quite a large one. I've cut this down, cut a couple of strips and rolled it so that this is going to form the main baffle and we'll wrap some uh, sort of fiberglass exhaust packing around there. Um, I put a couple of Jubilee clips around just to hold it together while I get a couple of tacks on there. I'm going to do that using my MIG welder. Uh, hopefully I'll not end up with too many holes in it off the MIG welder because it's not easy to weld with it not having a lot of area on here. So that will be in the centre. As I said that's going to be the extension parts so this baffle is going to run up through the middle of that and to try and seal it at each end got a little ring and a washer which I'm going to weld onto that end and similar thing at this end I've got another ring with a washer I've had to cut this piece of pipe and re-roll it but that's going on the end there on here and hopefully that's going to slide inside of here. That's the idea. Now when I'm doing that I've drilled a hole in here because when I slide these up into the exhaust I won't be able to hold them in place so I'm going to weld a nut on the back of that so it's like a captive nut so I'll be able to put a bolt in from that is the back of the exhaust where you won't see it or underneath you won't see it very well um, and hold that so it don't slide out. So what I'll do first is put that little captive nut in there. I'll just see. Let's, let's just to hold that in place while I, I weld it up. I just want a couple of spots on one either side. carried away and blew it away at the end. I had to fill that in or use it for the the inside where you don't see it. Right. So take the bolt out. faff on doing these take time taking but if you end up with something that you want custom made you've got to do it haven't you you can't uh, get around it let's cut that off got a tub of water there it's always handy to have a little tub of water when you whenever you're welding cooling parts down and sanding for that matter if you're sanding out of minimum it gets hot cool parts down and if you do end up burning your finger you've got some cold water to cool it down quick with. 
Right, I'll try putting a few spots along this, hold it together. this ring on the end. It's got to go on one end. And then we can weld that piece on or maybe we could weld the two of those together first. Yeah, it might be a better idea. Now for this with it being very only thin pipe and don't want it to be too rough there would be a lot of grinding down because I've got to make it a good fit to fit inside the pipe I'm just going to use my TIG welder and try to fuse these two together using as little air uh, filler rod as possible so we'll just swap over from the MIG to the TIG You may have to excuse me back while I weld this. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder very well. Turn it round a bit. Now I know I'll probably get a lot of comments about me welding but I'm not a professional welder by any means. I can stick two pieces of metal together though. So I'll just cool that down a bit. Right, so look at this pipe through there. Right, and then try to weld that under the top. I had second thoughts because one of these it may have to be a little bit shorter, the one with a bend on. So I'll do the other side first and then we'll leave that to last. I'm just trying to tap on that and then we'll get, make sure it's very stiff and then we'll weld the rest up. Yeah, I think that's good there enough. So this has got to go inside of this pipe. So what I'll do, I'll put it inside the pipe while I weld it up the join so that we know it is going to fit. Put in get a couple of tacks on. Right, so I'll just try and fuse the joint together. Um, so I'm going to nip it there. Yeah. So hold, hold it a bit tighter.
Right, so I've got that welded together. Um, got that mount neatly connected to that. And I've got the couple of nut in there. And again, I'm just going to try fusing this together. Having a little bit of rod where I need it. So that's one end done and what I'm going to use is this exhaust packing which I've got here and on this one it's like in a mat and um, I'll tuck it underneath there and give it a roll maybe it's about two twice round wrap it with wire or something so I can put it in with and I'm just going to check this on the bike see if I will be able to get that through at its full length or whether I'm going to have to move this end down a little bit. So I'll just go and check that. Right, so this one I'm going to make it just a little bit shorter. I think the bend in the pipe here is going to cause an obstruction. So I'm just making it a quarter of an inch shorter. So I'm just snipping through some of these perforations so that we can bend the top over and then weld it down onto this flange going to be inside of the exhaust this one so we're not going to see it so it doesn't matter about it how it looks the main thing though is getting it straight so let's pull tack on one side to start off with and then we'll straighten it up Right, the next thing is to I'm going to sand that down a little bit so it's good fit in here. Then I need to join this pipe onto here to make it a little bit longer. So it does go in um, here, and it's going far enough. I'll just sand it a little bit so it's a little bit of an easier fit uh, because once I've got that length on and we get this it's going to be difficult to get it in. I'm also going to create a little hole in here where I can use a hook which I have to pull on so I can pull the baffles out if I ever need them out again. 
Right, so I'll just go and sand this and get ready and then we'll prepare this pipe ready so we can weld that onto there. Right, so I've got these two made. I made the other one as well. So I'm just going to slide in. I'm going to put it in here while I weld it up. Make sure it's sitting right, the pipe, everything's going to work all right. But I know it's going to be difficult pulling these out, so I've got to make sure that I don't make them too tight to fit. But you do want a tight fit because you don't want too many exhaust gases going around and blowing out all of the uh, wadding that's in the, the tailpipe to quieten it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll put a little notch in these, a little extra big hole. So when I put this in, I can hopefully pull it out. <coughs> now that's from uh, two-stroke racing days when we used to put springs on the exhaust to keep them on and sometimes the tights hard to pull and I was using a bit of bent sort of welding rod type of thing. A friend of mine who was racing with us at the time he says what he told us what he'd need is he used one of these uh, because he used to play ice hockey and it's for pulling the laces to tighten them up on the boots and all I had to do was a little modification because the hoop was a bit bigger made it a little bit tighter filed it down to more of a point but I've had that for years now and it's been ideal for that type of thing so get yourself off to DJ Sports or somewhere and get yourself one of them if you need one for exhaust springs <laughs> now I need to put that onto there and I've got it's straight. Try to get as level as possible. <coughs> so this exhaust is not the best, but what I'm uh, doing is just experimenting with this one and when I get it right then at some point I hope to make a one out of stainless steel. I want to get the shape right and make sure it's going to be quiet enough. I don't want it too quiet but I don't want to be annoying the neighbours too much. narrow the size of the pipe and I may not be able to get a buffalo out so I don't want to get too much heat into it. not put too much heat in it. Where possible I'll just fuse it together. I know it's not going to be as strong as putting a nice V in it and welding it but it is uh, it isn't structural as such. As I say it's only a, a prototype exhaust.
going to have to get something up the pipe there and try and file it away a little bit or grind it. going to check whereabouts this is going to lie so I can drill a hole and uh, lock it in a place. So I'll try it on the bike. I don't want the bolt to be in the way of the uh, any of the frame members where you can't get into it. Right, so I'll put, let's put a mark on there where it needs to go. fit in there. A bit long. Just put a few washers on it for now. Um, so I may use sort of a domed headed type of uh, Allen key bolt, something like that eventually. Wooden. So I need some that long. I'll try and cut it that side of the stitching so it doesn't all fall apart so much. And I need it long enough to wrap round twice. These do go in at the end, so I'm going to have to try and tuck it down there if I can.
and use some of this wire to wrap around it just to hold it in place while it goes in. So hopefully that will hold it all together while it goes in there. Like I said earlier, I want to get a smaller bolt in there, but hopefully that will take the take the edge off the sound and we'll be able to get this sanded down and painted. But remember, they originally were covered in with the exhaust covered over with the exhaust wrap. I'm not a fan of that, but considering the state of the welds on here, I think I'm going to have to use that for now um, and maybe make something little kind of decorative tailpipe here maybe it's brass or chrome to go over the end so I'm gonna make the other one and then get these fitted and give them a try right so I've put the exhaust back on the bike got the noise meter ready I'm just gonna see what's fire up and then we'll see if we can compare the sound level that we're getting here with what we had before values that we got before at uh, take over with the um, with the open exhaust was 95 it went down to 93 with the Volkswagen tailpipes on at the moment it tick over it's about 80 just over 80 maybe it's 82 so we've lost at least 10 dBs there and uh, while it's revving Open exhaust was 113, it went 110 with the uh, with Volkswagen tail pipes. Now with these ones on, it's down to about just over 100, maybe 101 or 2. It's fluctuating. So we've lost about 8 or 10 dBs from, certainly from without the Volkswagen tail pipes, we've lost at least 10. So it's quieting down and I might have to... Um, Give it a go out in the street and see what it's like uh, but it's done its job let's hope it's quite enough okay. well thanks for watching again and uh, we'll see you next time mm -hmm.